Tarana guys, follow us on the second part of our Mexico trip vlog. Here is a quick first person view of the facility. What you're seeing is the main pool area. It is in the middle of two buildings. What you saw there on the right is the pizzeria, which is open during snack time in between breakfast and lunch. This was at one of the bars closest to the beach. You can order any drink you like. Alcoholic or non-alcoholic, they got it. The pizza place tasted great. They make the dough fresh as well as the pizza. Yeah, and they're setting up something for tonight. It looks like they're welcoming their gold members. Here's a quick look of the lobby area. Their Christmas decorations aren't quite complete yet when we arrived. And a quick look of the buffet area. Pasensyahan nyo na kami. We are gonna make you gutom on this vlog. Ganito talaga when you go on an all-inclusive. It's all about eating, drinking, relaxing, and not having to worry about cooking, cleaning up. The one great thing we noticed was that their vegetable area is super fresh. Especially yung mga romaine lettuces na yan. Ang sarap. My favorite station is this paluto area. Uh, they always have some local Mexican food. Yeah, and you can choose to put whatever topping you like. I like it a little bit hot, so I put hot sauce and salsa. Yeah, and it's covered with uh, refried beans bayon, as well as I got a salad there. Ito ang pagkain ni Mommy Bean. Masarap yung pagkain. Medyo hit and miss yung iba. Iba medyo maalat. Iba medyo walang taste. Pero overall, masarap siya at nakakabusog. Ito ang pinaka-favorite part ko about this buffet. And dami ng selections ng mga desserts. So I got this cheesecake thing, a leche flan, and some kind of caramel cake. Taste test ng leche flan. Uh, masarap. Not as good as how we make it. Here is a nighttime tour of the resort. It's a bit of an older resort, pero maganda yung mga landscaping niya and maganda yung mga structure niya. This area on the left is made for VIP or gold members only. In the lobby, they have a bit of entertainment tonight. They had boys versus girls and they are playing musical chairs. The following day, nagahan ko talaga ang gising ko because I wanted to enjoy the amenities that this resort has to offer. I made my way at the buffet and immediately nag order ako ng two coffees. Ang saya ng feeling to have coffee while overlooking the beach. Ito pala yung other swimming pool closest to the buffet area. It's supposed to be the quieter side of the swimming pool. Yeah, and tingnan nyo, puntahan natin yung gym nila. It's actually outside of the lobby area. Gymnasio is gym for Spanish. They have a very small gym here, pero it's workable. They have enough machines to get you going. Kailangan ko mag-burn ng calories for all the food that I ate. There isn't much of a view from the gym other than the kids' pool area. Katabi lang ng gym, they have a basketball court as well as a tennis court. And on the second floor, they have a studio for Zumba and for anything goes. Na get ready na kami for the day. Summer na summer outfit talaga. Nagsulputin ang mga tao. The pool area is filled with people. It's about 11 o'clock na at this time. Alam nyo na kung saan kami pupunta dito. It's our favorite hangout. Cafe Solaris, the buffet restaurant. Nagpaluto ako ng Mexican food na to. Nakalimutan ko ng pangalan, pero masarap. Nagsaserve pa sila ng breakfast until 12. So they have some scrambled eggs, some nachos, refried beans, at uh, marami pang iba. Masasarap din yung mga pastries nila. I heard that they are made in-house. Ito yung hot chocolate nila. May evaporated milk ata. Masarap daw sabi ni Mommy Bean. Masarap yung breakfast namin. Pati nga itong Ibon Maya eh, nakiki-breakfast na rin eh.
they have five restaurants here but each one you have to book every night kasi limited lang yung mga seatings nila after breakfast nag FaceTime muna kami with baby bean miss na miss na namin siya eh Okay naman siya and is following his routine. Enjoy na enjoy si Mom C at Pop C sa pagalaga sa kanya. During lunch time, we decided to check out the other restaurant. This one had a Chinese or Asian cuisine theme. So they had sweet and sour pork, kung pao chicken, tempura, some soups, fresh vegetables, as well as some tinapay. These ones look like pandesal actually. And of course, we should not forget the desserts. Medyo light lang tong lunch namin. Medyo busog pa kami from breakfast eh. So hanggang salad muna. And siyempre, when you're in Mexico, you have to have your mojito. Ang sarap ng drink na to. Finally, we get to check out the beach area. This became our favorite hangout spot. Kaso wala na kami maupuan. Ganito pala dito, kailangang mauna ka sa mga chairs by putting your towels on them. Otherwise, wala ka na talaga maupuan. So, we quickly grab a couple of towels for us to use. And like the pasawais that we are, ninakaw na lang namin yung dalawang chair. Tinanggal namin yung towels na nandun. Siguro naman di na sila babalik. Super relaxing talaga dito. Grabe. Nakakatanggal ng stress. And meron pong paluto just around the corner. And meron din silang fresh sushi here that they make in-house. Sadly, hindi kami nasarapan sa mga sushi na to. Walang sinabi to sa sushi dito sa amin sa Vancouver. Pagdating ng hapon, relax muna kami sa pool area. It's snack time! And swimming muna. Pagdating ng gabi, we got cleaned up because we're going to a nicer dinner. We had a reservation for one of the restaurants and the menu was Italian tonight. We were disappointed because we were expecting some pasta. Instead, what we got was three pieces of calamari, a mushroom as well as a veal and some steak with cheese on it. Okay lang yung meal namin dito. There's nothing to be overly excited about. And because hindi kami na contento sa kinain namin for dinner, we decided to go back to our favorite hangout, the buffet place. We got a few more items and mostly desserts, and that's how we ended our night. Pagkatapos ng dinner namin, we tried to catch a show. Tonight's show is This Is America, it's called. So this is a cool, high energetic one hour show. They had singing, dancing, juggling, and it sort of reminded us of a talent show, kind of like an X Factor show. The entertainers were very talented and overall, it was a great production. Napadami ata mi mojito at the end of the night. And so we're gonna end our vlog here.